Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Where are we going next? We got another resort tour here for you. This time, really excited to be at the Ryu Palace Riviera Maya. So of all the Ryu hotels here, this one's the one we love the most. But just before we head inside, I just wanna show you guys a little bit here around the front. This driveway here is the driveway that you would be dropped off by your airport shuttle. And also if you were to take an excursion, they would drive up here and you can wait outside at these little couches here and they'll pick you up for your excursion. And if you look behind us here, this is the uh, main road here in Playa Car. And if you take the road all the way down this way, you can walk to all the other Rio hotels. And being that you're staying at Rio Palace Riviera Maya, you have access to all the other hotels. So without further ado, let's head inside. So just off to the left here, before we jump into the lobby here, I just wanna show you guys the hotel plaque, which we always try to find. So here it is here, the Rio Palace Riviera Maya. So as you're coming into the hotel, there's some nice uh, couches out front here with some lighting and the decoration here is on point. They have tons of cool little accents like this little sconce here. Uh, if you look up here, they got some cool lighting and this definitely all comes together and makes it really feel special like you're staying in a palace. So as you come into the hotel, as you can see, there's some doors in front that open automatically and that helps keep some of the air conditioning in. The air conditioning is something that's a bit of a perk to Rio palaces. And if you stay at one of the Rio hotels, they're usually open uh, concept lobbies and they don't have air conditioning. So there's some hand sanitizer here before you come in. You can see that there's some markings on the ground to kind of <laughs> steer people the right way. But before we go this way, take a look at this lobby. It is absolutely gorgeous. Look at the chandelier here, all the crystals, the painting here on the ceiling too. This is a beautiful lobby. This is my favorite lobby of the hotels that we've toured on our trip this week. So as you come into the lobby too, there's a spot here that you can stand and what they'll do is they'll take your temperature here just to make sure that you're clear to enter the hotel. Just beside that, there's an information board and that helps kind of guide you as to what things are going on in the hotel, all the different games, uh, what's happening at the stage, all the different fitness activities and such. And you can customize it by clicking on the different dates too to find out what's going on. So here you go, you can see 10 o'clock yoga is happening. That's happening at Ryu Fit. So moving over this way, you can see some more seating areas. And then just over here is the front desk. I really love the uh, hanging, these hanging balls here from the front desk. Makes it look really neat. What a great little addition to the lobby. So if we continue over this way, there's again more seating areas over here by the windows. And I will point out too that if you uh, come to the Ryu, you can download the online app, the Ryu Hotels and Resorts app, and you can uh, scan this code to do so. And even at home, you can start planning your trip by looking at the restaurant menus and seeing the different uh, amenities that are offered at the resort. I really love this backdrop here, this Ryu logo. I think it's lit up perfectly on the back of this uh, hotel lobby. And they got some orchids in these vases here as well. So just behind the hotel front desk, tons of seating here while you're waiting, maybe while some of your party is checking in or just hanging out here in the lobby. Over here is the offices of the hotel managers if you ever need to speak with them. And then all kinds of beautiful artwork here too, lining the walls here at Ryu Palace Riviera Maya. But look at the accents, look at the detail that you're gonna get here at Ryu Palace Riviera Maya. I'm really excited to show you guys this as you can tell, but let's get back to kind of pointing out some of the important things. So again, behind me is the hotel front desk. Just down this hallway here is the staircases to get to the guest rooms, and there's also an elevator. So coming back into the hotel lobby area, this is the front desk. If you look over this way, there's an ATM that you can withdraw cash. And then down this hallway here is washrooms and also courtesy rooms. So courtesy rooms would be awesome if you're checking out later in the day and you wanna go visit the beach. The hotel front desk as you check out will take your luggage for you, uh, put it safely in a room, and then you can go to the beach with your beach stuff, come back to the courtesy rooms over here, have a shower and freshen up nicely before you head to the airport. Check out these busts. I don't know who these people are, but they look pretty cool. Okay, so I'm back in the main part of the lobby now. The front entrance is just behind me. The front desk is over here and I just want to show you guys what this resort lobby looks like at nighttime. It is absolutely gorgeous. I'll take you guys on a little tour of what this looks like at nighttime. So 
So over to the left, just to the main entrance here, is our first a la carte restaurant, and it's called Il Portico. And this is our Italian restaurant here. But just take a look at the decoration here, like this beautiful window and this vase with grapes in it. Same thing over here. What a nice entrance. And I'll show you guys here the menu for the Italian restaurant. Just gonna give you guys a little sneak peek of what it looks like here in the Italian restaurant. Love the decor in here. Looks excellent. So just off to the left side of uh, Il Portico is a, an Alamo car rental. Back here in the lobby to the left of me is the Italian restaurant. And I love these benches here, these round benches. You can sit anywhere on this bench. Another thing I really love about the lobby here is all the crystal sconces and chandeliers. So this is the one we saw earlier. And just look at all these pillars, just tons of sconces and crystal just to kind of make things look really, really luxurious. So if we move over to the left now, we're gonna head down this hallway and we can see all kinds of different seating areas here. If you want a little bit of quiet off the main lobby, this would be the spot to come. And down this hallway is gonna lead us to Lounge 24. This is Lounge 24 right here. And uh, this is the hotel uh, lounge that's open 24 hours a day, as the, as the name suggests. So Mona and I actually visited here, this a couple times. Uh, we usually come here to grab like a quick breakfast to bring back to our balcony. Um, we usually have like a quick snack, some like, you know, little breakfast pastries and uh, some coffee. Just the ambiance in here, it looks gorgeous. Love all the different seating areas here, these cool like modern chairs around this little table. Some relaxing couches over here and they've got TVs here in the Lounge 24 as well. And we'll take you on a little tour of some of the food that's offered here too. So here's a uh, alcohol dispenser, this is self-serve. And these are also in your rooms as well. Um, which we did room tours here at the Ryu Palace River Amaya. And we'll link that up on the screen for you so you can take a look at what the rooms look like too. So they have some gin, some vodka, whiskey, rum, and tequila. And if we come over here, you can take a look at some of the other stuff that's offered here at Lounge 24. So there's some uh, cold glasses, there's some waters and tonic water, there's an ice dispenser, some soft drinks, there's self-serve beer on tap here, there's some fresh juices, and then there's some wines, so there's like a red wine, a white wine, and this one we were making good use of earlier this week, this is the champagne that's self-serve here. There's a selection of teas as well, and this is another thing we make good use of here, there's a self-serve cappuccino machine. So we actually got some of these cappuccinos this morning and enjoyed them on our balcony. There's some sausages and some bacon, quesadillas and potato patties. And then there's some breakfast pastries and croissants with some bread, some French toast and fried plantain. And then some more breakfast pastries and danishes. Over here are some of the cold cuts and cheeses. We've got some fruit, blackberries, papaya and pineapple. And then over here we have some breakfast cereals, some fresh fruit, bananas, apples, peaches. Over in the corner here, you have uh, some computers that are connected to the internet. So if you need to check your email or print off any documentation, you can do it here, complimentary. Okay, so just outside Lounge 24 again, um, behind us would be the main lobby. Down this hallway would be another staircase and elevators to get to the guest rooms on the left side of the resort. All right, so back again in the main lobby, we're going to head into the rest of the resort now. We'll take a look at this flower arrangement here in the middle of the resort. Is that real or fake? What do you think? Leave a comment down below and let me know. So the front desk is over here. Just moving to the left here, we're going to head into the main part of the lobby. Over here would be the lobby bar, where you can grab a drink and relax at any of these chairs here. And then over to the right side is Cappuccino. And Cappuccino has similar things as the sports bar or the Lounge 24. In terms of coffee and danishes but you have uh, full service here so they'll actually make you a cappuccino from their machines which actually tastes a tiny bit better in the middle there's a staircase but all around the outside is some additional seating and there's also a piano over there and they usually invite a pianist to come in in the evenings and play some good piano so a really nice kind of atmosphere here and i didn't get a chance to really show it yet but just behind me is the first bar at the resort. This is called Daiquiri. Not open right now, but lots of different selections of cocktails you can get here at the resort. So before we head down the staircase here, I just want to show you some of the detail here too that's uh, in the railings around the staircase. Like, take a look at this bird. 
And it's the same thing over this way. And as we head down the staircase here, this is going to take us to the rest of the resort, the plaza area, the feeder, and some of the restaurants. Definitely a sucker for beautiful artwork. But I love the colors here. We got lots of silvers, some reds, and then some really bright colors. And then they just have some great paintings to kind of add some color. So we're gonna head down the stairs here and outside into the main plaza area, and it's gonna be hot. So this is the last little bit of air conditioning we're gonna get here on this tour. The good thing is now I can take my mask off, being that we're outdoors. All right, so just showing you what it looks like out here as a, as a pan, and then we'll take a look at things a little bit closer. Beautiful plaza area where lots of people like to hang out. This is really kind of a nice spot here in the evenings. Very uh, populated with guests, but lots and lots of seating here just to keep people spread out. All right, so that's the door we came out of. We just turned over to the right, and over this way, we have our second a la carte restaurant altogether called Cristal, and Cristal is a fusion restaurant. So we actually visited Cristal earlier in our stay, and it was delicious. We really love this Iberian ham with crispy bread, but I'll show you the rest of the menu here. And then from Cristal, if we hang a left down this hallway, again, the plaza area is just over to my left here. And if we move over here, we have a hallway that leads down to the washrooms and the spa and gym. So I'll check to see if anyone's working out in there right now. Um, if there isn't anyone, I'll take you, show you a little bit of what the exercise room looks like. I don't know if you can see it here on the door, but the spa is open from 8 a.m to 8 p.m. and the gym opens at 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. All right, so here we are in the gym here. So as you can see, they have uh, lots of cardio equipment, some treadmills, ellipticals, lots of open space, tons of mirrors in here to keep this like really open. It seems like so much bigger than it actually is. Um, they got some TVs up on the wall too. Over here, they have some strength equipment. And then over here, some dumbbells and some benches to do some exercises over there that you can plan your workouts if you're coming to um, the hotel and you're wanting to make sure you get your exercise in. So this is where we came from down here where Cristal is and this is the main plaza area. And I'm gonna show you over this way to La Rico. And La Rico is the theater here. So we actually watched a couple shows here at La Rico during our stay here. Some of the shows were okay and some of them were really cool. We watched a Michael Jackson show that was really awesome. Then we saw some other shows that eh, they weren't the best, I would say. So um, one thing I will let you know about um, the uh, resort here is basically your show is going to go from about 9.30 to about 10.15, 10.30. And that's kind of it for the nightlife. We didn't really see too many people out dancing, um, I mean they put some music on but there's not a lot of big party, there's no one really kind of leading things away uh, as opposed to some of the other resorts we've been to where you know there's a party, there's a theater and then even like in the plaza area there's like a guest or uh, a hotel staff member leading people through dance lessons or you know getting the energy up with a DJ so not the best nightlife here but we did hear that Rio Tequila is where you would go if you want some extra nightlife. So one more thing to mention about the uh, theater here is this is where your, your travel vendor or travel representative is going to hang out. So you can see there's some travel representatives here right now and there's some guests with them booking some excursions, possibly booking their COVID-19 PCR or antigen tests, or maybe even uh, just finding out uh, departure information because uh, your travel vendor will have all that information and they hang out here in the theater during the day. One more thing I want to mention too is they have this stage here in the middle called La Plaza. Uh, they always have some musical guests that sing during the evening before the show starts, but in my honest opinion, I really feel like as you come out this door here and like look down this aisleway here and just see that theater, you kind of miss the beautiful view that goes all the way down the plaza where the fountains are and into the uh, pool beach area. In contrast to this Rio Palace Mexico, they don't have a theater here or a stage here like this, but you can see perfectly down. So I'll show you what that looks like. So I kind of feel like it's almost like missing this view here for this stage. And the stage we noticed is not really used like much. Like why not just take this stage uh, performances and put them over here? Just my take on it, but 
still a beautiful plaza area nonetheless. I love these uh, like architectural accents at the top here to make it look very palatial. But looking over this way in the uh, main lobby area or the main plaza area, this is the door we came out from the main lobby. We checked out all the restaurants and spa and fitness center this way. So we'll turn over this way and this is going to lead us to two more restaurants. So the first restaurant is Yashima and Yashima is the Asian restaurant here at the hotel. Take a second here to show you the menu here at Yashima. And then just to the right of Yashima here, we have a little hallway down this way, and that leads to Don Rafael. And Don Rafael is the buffet here at the resort. So there's uh, lots of indoor seating, and then some outdoor seating if you look at all over here. But they definitely have air conditioned seating inside the buffet if you prefer sitting in more colder uh, environment to eat. We did a full buffet tour for breakfast and dinner at Don Rafael. So um, if you wanted to see that, we'll put that, put that up on screen and down in the description for you to check out too, some of the food offerings offered. And again, another uh, computer screen here too that shows you some of the different things that are offered at the resort. You can use this touch screen to see what kind of things are happening at the resort in terms of fun, fitness, Ryu Land, which is where the kids club is, and then what's happening at the stage. All right, so that pretty much wraps up everything here in this plaza area. So I just wanna show you what the plaza looks like in the uh, nighttime, because it looks absolutely gorgeous. So I'll uh, put up some night shots here of the plaza so you can see what some of the atmosphere is like at night. Now that we're finished with sort of the main building area, we're gonna take a walk down to check out the pools and the beach. Just behind the stage here, uh, we have a nice fountain too, looking down this uh, plaza area and fountains. But this is beautiful. This is such a nice walk from the main building down to the pools and the beach. And the way this hotel is laid out is basically has the main building and then two like arms or wings that come all the way down and end. And then here's the end of the first, of the uh, right side and then coming all the way up this way and connecting to the main building. So you're either going to be in the right side or the left side of the resort. If you want morning sun on your balcony, you're gonna to wanna to be on the right side of the resort, looking from the road. If you want kind of evening sun or you don't want any sun, you want shade in the morning to sit out on your balcony, you're definitely gonna to wanna to be on the left side of the resort. So let's take a walk down through the middle of the uh, fountain area here and we'll take a look at the pools and of course the beach. So right over there, if you look up one, two, three, that's our balcony right there and it wraps around the other side. We did a full suite tour of that room as well, so if you wanted to see that, you can take a look in the description or I'll put it up on screen here for you as well. So yeah, here we go. This is the view right here. Take a look at this. Here's one of our Ryu Fun team members here. Hey! I keep you entertained. Good morning! Good morning. <laughs> So that's uh, one of the Ryu Fun staff members and they put on all the games and different activities at the pool and in the evening back at the stage. I just want to point out something we thought was kind of interesting, we're not quite sure, but um, take a look at this statue here. Notice anything missing? There's no uh, arm there and the statue is missing its head. <laughs> also this little vase here is like floating, there's no handle there either. Now could this be? A missing body to the head sculptures we saw earlier in the lobby? I don't know, just saying. So coming over here to the pool area, I'm just going to point out pretty much where everything is as a pan here and then we'll go check out things in a bit more detail. Over here is the right side where we have a pool, we have Ryu Fit, and then just beyond we have Scuba Caribe which is like your water sport rentals. Just in front of me here we have another pool, there's two pools, one and then further along there's a second pool which is an infinity pool. Over here we have the towel exchange system over to the left and then we have the bar which is a walk-up bar or a pool bar and then our last pool over here. And then over this way we have the lunch buffet and in the evening time this big building here it turns into two a la carte restaurants. The Mexican restaurant which is on this side and the steakhouse which is on this side. And then just down this pathway here there is a Ryu Land where is the kids club is. 
So we'll start on this side over on the left and then we'll work our way back to the right side and then finally finish off this tour with checking out the beach. All the way down at the end here is the kids club. Just off to the right over here we have washrooms and again just down this pathway here we have Ryu land and this is where kids can come and enjoy a little splash pad there's some slides that kind of come down into the water here um, there is a sign over here that says lifeguard not available at the pool please supervise your children so there's some loungers here they get some sun with some umbrellas um, to get some shade too so you can hang out here while your kids play in the splash pad we're gonna head down this garden path here I love this very very uh, natural and that's leading us down to uh, a pool area here and then also what's here is just uh, behind these uh, palm trees is Pepe's food. Pepe's food is another uh, quite a, kind of a quick serve option which uh, serves you know hot dogs, um, french fries, hamburgers, some nachos and cheese and then there's some tables here that you can sit at and just have like a really quick bite. If you want something more like a full buffet you can head into Chili's over here and Chili's is the lunch buffet uh, while you're hanging out here by the pool. Just beside Chili's here, there's a changing room to change into your bathing suit. And then over here we have Cancun, which is a lobby bar, or sorry, not a lobby bar, a pool bar. Inside the pool here, there's a swim up bar. So you can come over here, you can take a seat at one of the tables or stools at the bar, and there's lots of shade there already. So you can stay out of the sun while you're enjoying some, uh, some drinks. And then in the pool here, they have some loungers with little tables. And all along here, there's uh, little tables with stools that are in the water that you can hang out at and have a drink. So before we carry on the rest of the tour here, I just want to show you what the menus look like for the steakhouse and the Mexican restaurants here. So the Mexican restaurant is called Agave and the steakhouse restaurant I think is just called the steakhouse. So here's the menu for the Mexican restaurant. And then over here uh, is the, where the steakhouse is and here is the dinner menu for the steakhouse. One more thing I want to show you guys before we leave this pool area here is I just want to show you what this kind of looks like at nighttime here because it is absolutely beautiful because this is kind of a common area for people to hang out in while they're uh, waiting for the steakhouse or even before or after because the bar on the other side actually stays open as a bar and you can get some drinks and uh, hang out and socialize here by the beach. It is kind of earlier in the morning so there's not too many people out at the moment. Later in the afternoon this is going to get a lot busier and you know, not rambunctious or anything, but there's gonna be some, some good party energy out here. Over here is the other side of Cancun. They do advise you to wear a mask as you come up here um, to grab a drink, but all kinds of great cocktails being brewed up here by the uh, bartenders who will never leave you thirsty and always make sure you have a drink in hand. All right, so over here is sort of like the main area pool. This one we found is the most busiest. Um, the pools here are very warm and that's just because it's so hot outside, but we found you need to cool off. You definitely need to get into the ocean, which we'll show in just a few minutes here. Just beside me here is another pool. This one's far less busy. No loungers in this one, but still a nice pool to relax at and plenty of beach chairs all around the pool as well. Lots of availability at this point in time. You don't have to worry about people reserving chairs with their towels in the morning. Lots and lots of opportunity to grab some loungers even at 11 o'clock, 11.30 in the morning. Over this way, that's where the beach is going to be, so we'll head over there in just a few seconds, but there's beautiful, beautiful pergolas here, or you can take the curtain back here too with a pull string. There's another changing station over here. Just down over here, there's a staircase that leads down to a set of washrooms. I just want to point out too that to walk on these uh, tiles here, you definitely need some flip-flops because this tile gets super, super hot in the daytime. And here is the beach area. So lots and lots of space here on the beach. There are some people here that want to uh, sell you some things. So you'll get kind of asked if you want to buy some cigars or you want to you know, go parasailing or jet skiing. I found that simply just sort of waving your hand, just saying, no, no, thank you. Have a nice day. They just leave you alone. Over here is the Scuba Cree Bay, the rental area where you can rent some uh, water sport um, equipment. Uh, we rented some boogie boards and we found that really helpful to kind of walk out and then um, kind of boogie board out in the water and keep a little floaty because it does get kind of deep pretty quickly. 
All right, so this is the beautiful Playa del Carmen sand that everyone loves. Very powdery and white and amazing beach. Lots of palm trees and shade here too. It's, there's a really nice breeze coming off the water right now. I feel this is the best I've felt on this tour because it's been super, super hot. But yeah, lots of uh, palm trees, lots of shade, tons of space, tons of loungers. This tour has been quite long, but without further ado, we're gonna go check out the water. What a beautiful day today. Oh my gosh. <laughs> look at the sparkling water. That's one of my favorite things to look at is how the sun reflects off the waves and you get that sparkle effect. It's just gorgeous. And over here, you can see there's a volleyball area for uh, some beach volleyball. And then here is the beach. So one thing I want to tell you guys right away is when we first arrived here, I'll show you some shots, but there was seaweed everywhere. So. I actually went swimming our first day. I didn't take the camera out, but um, I went swimming and when I walked into the water here, I was literally walking through just the thickest amount of seagrass you can imagine. Right now, six days later, no seaweed whatsoever. The beach is absolutely gorgeous here. So, um, although you'll read stuff online about seaweed and how much seagrass there is and it's gross, in six days it's completely changed. But who knows, in six more days, it may change again. So I just want to make you guys aware that things change quite rapidly here in Playa del Carmen um, and you might have seaweed, you might not. Just pointing out too that across the board or the horizon here is Cozumel. You can take some excursions out there. There's some really nice beaches. If you guys can see in the water here, there's like a lighter shade right here. You can kind of see it a bit more over this way. If you can swim out that far, uh, there's a sandbar that you can kind of stand on too. It's quite shallow. Uh, that's why we took the boogie boards out there because neither of us are particularly strong swimmers and uh, we just wanted to take the boogie boards float out there. We enjoyed our time out in the clear water out there. And uh, yeah, boogie boards, really, really good idea. So with this view here, that is gonna do it for our tour here at the Rio Palace Riviera Maya. I hope you guys enjoyed this tour. It's been so much fun showing this resort. This is the resort we actually stayed at. We did six other, uh, sorry, we did five other tours at other Rio resorts while we were here. So you can check those out in the description. This one's our favorite. Definitely by far, this one is the best hotel. It is fully renovated, very, very fresh as well. So you definitely get like this palace feel, but like a brand new palace feel. It's really amazing. The comparison would be Rio Palace, Mexico, where uh, it's nice, it's got similar amenities. However, it's not up to date like Rio Palace Riviera Maya. It needs a little bit of a refresh. And if you want, you can take a look at that hotel tour that we did on our channel and kind of compare it for yourself. But like I said, that's gonna do it for our hotel tour here at the Rio Palace River Amaya. If this video helped you guys out in choosing or comparing different hotels for your vacation, help support our channel by giving this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to find out where are we going next?